Join me today as I take you through the unboxing experience of the Amazon Echo Show 10 and share with you my first thoughts on this device. Welcome back to another episode of Stu's Reviews Unboxing. Now I will be doing a full review of this device in around a week's time after I've had a real good play with it and got to grips with some of the finer features of it. So hit that notification bell if you want to see that because you'll be notified as soon as that drops. But let's get started. Now the first thing I want to kind of talk about is on the website, this is now marked as climate pledge friendly. Now what does that mean? Now to me when I saw that I thought, oh brilliant, maybe there's less plastic in the packaging no, that's not what it means at all. If you dive into the Climate Pledge friendly sort of symbol on the Amazon website, all it is is they've reduced the size of the packaging for the product, which is great, it's good. That's a really great thing because it is lowering emissions. Uh, and it is fitting more stuff on planes when they're sending it over, acquiring less planes to ship the devices. So overall, that's still a really good thing. But if there is a lot of plastic in the packaging, like I've said in previous Amazon, Echo device unboxings, that'll be a disappointment. Interestingly, this is a bit late. It was supposed to get released on the February the 25th. I got an email saying that it was out for delivery. And then all of a sudden, the date got changed to April the 21st delivery. Midway through the day. That was a bit insane. But then, all of a sudden, it arrived on my door a few days later. Very strange. Okay, opening the box, we've got a little handle here we can pull it out with, made of cardboard, that's positive. Okay, pull that over there. Okay, here we go, exciting stuff. Alexa is happy to help. This is pretty neat packaging, in fairness, okay. Now, in the past, Amazon are supposed to have made this a really simple process to set these devices up. You're supposed to be able to turn it off, on and it's already linked automatically to your account through your purchase. That hasn't always been the case. It has failed me numerous occasions, although I will say with the 4th Gen Echo and 4th Gen Echo Dot, it did work seamlessly. So I'm hoping that this does the same. Opening this, we've got more cardboard. Popping this out. <gasps> Amazon, a round of applause. There is no plastic. Well done. All these years of screaming about plastic in Amazon packaging, all you lot whinging that it was necessary to stop it getting wet in transport. I was right, evidently. That is very, very familiar to another device that I've used. Hmm. That is mental, actually. That is the weirdest looking thing I have seen for some time. Wow. Look at this. Right, so it looks like, so I was wrong. I thought this bit at the top would be the thing that span round, but it isn't that. It is in fact the entire speaker that spins around, as you can see by the base on the bottom, which is spinning. Hmm, okay, let's get this plugged in. I love the design of it. It's a bit crazy. The thing that I really hate about it is look at the size of that bezel. Look at that. That is 2003 size bezel, that is. Insane. In 2021, devices like that should not be coming out. But then Amazon devices, I guess, the quality sometimes is reflected in the price. And all of the Echo Show have uh, massive bezels. The entire range does. That's in. Okay, we're starting up. We've got, we've got, we've got the Amazon logo. It is loading up. Oh, <laughs> Normally, this is the point where she starts screaming in German and Spanish and French and all the other languages, but she's not doing it. As I install the updates, this device will restart twice. Twice? Ugh. I'll be back in half an hour then. She screamed that she is back from the other room, so I've come rushing back and I've been met with this screen. It is now in sepia tone, which is a bit strange. Maybe it's night mode. I mean, it's only 20 to seven. 
This is not really the night, is it? Allow members of the household to live stream this echo camera anytime, anywhere, blah, blah, blah. Indicate will appear when someone is in your house streaming the camera. Fine, that's fine. People can perv on me cooking naked. That's not a problem. Okay, hit done. Where's she going? Where have you gone? <sighs> Hello? Can you come back, please? Let's, let's put you now there. Preview how far your device will rotate as the screen moves. Make sure you can see it from different places in the room. She's got a bit of judderiness about her. It's not smooth. It's sort of like... Okay, now that's smooth. That's smoother. Maybe she's just scanning the room to plan which uh, angle she's going to attack me from. I mean, it's a bit scary, isn't it, really? This device is ready. <sighs> to be fair, that was a completely seamless setup. Really good. That was good. Best one yet. Easy peasy. Although I don't like the sepia. How do I get it back? The screen has gone off. Why has the screen gone off? Stop. Sorry, something went wrong. She's going a bit mad. In fact, I've got another Amazon Echo device over there, so I'm just gonna have to turn that off for the time being. Oh, I'm gonna turn that off. Right. Oh, she hasn't followed me over here. That's annoying. <gasps> no, that's crazy. See what she does. Following. Following is now on. What if I jump across the camera because she hasn't got that range of motion? Wait, look at this. Look at that! That is cool! That is awesome! Look at that! The only slight criticism of this movement is that this doesn't change angle automatically. So if I've sat down now, it can't change to angle it a bit more to the angle that I'm looking at it. But that's so cool. It's so cool. Now I have one huge theory why Amazon have made this device especially made it so that it can follow you around the room. I think I know exactly why they've done it. And it's not necessarily because of the features that they share, although obviously it helps those features. But I'm not going to tell you what that theory is in today's episode. I'm going to wait for my full review. So you are going to have to hit that notification bell to be notified when that lands. But I reckon I know exactly why they've made this follow people. And it's got nothing to do with catching me in the nude. But that is crazy. My initial impressions are so impressive. I mean, you can hear it. There's no sound. Listen. That is, that is deadly silent. There's nothing. There was no sound at all. That's freaky. That is so freaky, but oh, it's so cool at the same time. I think I'm in love. Do you know, I wasn't sure I was going to keep this, but I haven't quite seen anything like this before. I mean, I've seen camera gimbals that track you, but nothing with a screen. Wow. Wow. I'm a bit sort of speechless, actually, at this. Okay, let us play some music and see what the speaker is like, because obviously that's quite a big part of this product. It's big. 
it's bigger than the... I can't even see the speaker because she's turning her head too quickly. <laughs> I'll have to stop following. The size is bigger than the Echo 4, but it's also smaller than the Echo Studio, and I love the studio. And the sound out of that is phenomenal, and that is the main speaker in my living room at the moment. So I'm interested to see where this fits in. Obviously, it's primarily meant to be a screen, and whereas I've thought the speakers on the Echo Show devices in the past have been good, they've not been amazing. So let's give this one a go. That's quite cool because the direction of the sound is always going to be sort of... coming out of the same direction, I guess, at your face. That is actually very good. The range is very, very nice. The bass is a lovely sound. That is nice. Let's see if it can uh, go a little bit louder. Let's see what happens. I mean, that goes really bloody loud, but I think anything over... About 75% is a bit horrible. Fantastic. Honestly, that has really surprised me. That goes so loud. It's really unnerving. This is so unnerving that she's sort of like following me around, looking at me. It's so weird. Stop following. Yeah, okay. Sound is brilliant so far. Little bit of an issue there when we came to actually putting it at the loudest possible setting, but that could, you know, I mean, most speakers, when you hit it on the loudest setting, it does lose a bit of the quality. So let's give it another go and I'll see you in a week's time regarding that. But like I said, if you do want to see my full review of the Amazon Echo Show 10, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you in about a week's time. And I'll tell you why I think they've made this device. I'll see you soon.